Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here today. Yes, I'm filming this right after I just filmed my last uh, 4 for 4 for blush trios. So if you haven't watched that one already, I'll have that one linked above and then I will also have a little later on the whole playlist of all of my 4 for 4 videos ranking and giving reviews on palettes. I started this series to try to work through all of the stuff that I have and really see what I have, what I like, what works well for me and what um, I need to pass along. So today I have mostly blush palettes, uh, but I do have a highlighter trio in here as well because I've run out of blush trios, which is good. Like I decided to do all my blush trios and I had seven so you get one highlighter trio. That highlighter trio is the, um, Casey Holmes, was that her name? I don't, so I don't watch a lot of the bigger YouTubers. I got into YouTube, the beauty space kind of late. And what I really started with was unboxings. So I don't know, I don't have like a rabid following for some of the larger ones because they either started changing their content or they didn't post a lot of stuff. Um, when I started on YouTube and I love supporting smaller creators like myself. So I do follow a lot of smaller, uh, content creators and I have a hard enough time keeping up as it is. So forgive me if I don't know, pretty sure this is Casey Holmes. I think that's her name. It is the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl and it is the lighter of the two palettes. There are three highlights in here. Then the next palette I have is the other Smashbox LA Lights Blush and Highlight Palette in Pacific Coast Pink. Like I said in my last one, this does not really work as a highlighter. They say this is a highlighter. It is not a highlighter. It doesn't function like these highlighters at all. It's not a glowy highlighter by any means, but that is the, the next palette. The other palette that I have here is from Kvos. I just got this in my Ipsy uh, Plus, my last one. Uh, this is the Kvos Blushing Beauty Luminous Blush Palette. There are three shades in here as well. Well, they're blush trios, so what do I expect? Of course, there are going to be three shades. And the last one I have is from Rimmel. This is the Kate Moss collection that they did and it's the blush palette. There are just three shades. So I'm going to start with this one. This has the simplest packaging of all. I picked this up in the grocery store or drugstore. I don't remember where I got it, but it was under $10 and I had the face trio that was like a blush, highlighter, and bronzer. And I ended up passing that along a while ago kind of regret that now, but that's okay. Anyway, I wanted to pick up a few things from Kate Moss because she's such an icon of um, my like childhood. So there are three shades in here, a quite deep shade, a medium kind of highlighter, not highlighter, but shimmery shade, and then a light shade. As you can see, they don't all really show up very well. They do go on very well. I'm just showing you up close for texture, not for color. I know when I get too close to uh, the camera, the lights kind of freak out. So let me, I'm going to double swatch them all so that you can kind of get a better sense of what they look like. And one thing that I did notice with these is they do kind of pill up just a little bit, as you can see in a couple spots. When you build them up with your fingers, it doesn't do that when you are applying with them, them with a brush though. So keep that in mind. These do need to be built up. Most of them, obviously the darkest shade doesn't, but the other two, you really do have to go in a couple times to get enough color payoff. I don't like, you know, a super in your face blush or clownish br blush, but you do need to work with this set just a little bit. I think it is a nice one. If you can um, find this or any of the other remote blushes, I think that they're worth picking up because they're kind of fun and they're pretty inexpensive. I do like um, how they look on the skin as well. All right, let's look at the Smashbox. Oh gosh. LA Lights Blush and Highlight Palette Pacific Coast Pink. This has the longest name. It's such a crazy long name. So this one I did mention in my last video that I liked the Culver City Coral one. Just a little bit more. I tend to gravitate, 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 
towards uh, slightly peachier tones than I do pinky tones, but I still, I still like this palette. I still think it's really pretty and I do like the shades in it. Just if I had to choose between the two of them, I would choose the other one. As you can see, this one, it does have some, a slight sheen to it, but it's nowhere near like a highlighter, highlighter type shade. I love the color. I actually really like the colors in here. They do need to be blended out a little bit because they will pick up a little bit more um, if you're if you go in too hard with them. They are a harder panned product as well. They're more similar to the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay blushes than other blushes that I've tried. So they are just a little bit more stiff in the pan, but they do look really beautiful on the skin. This is another palette that I just, I really like. I think they did a really nice job with it. And I like that they have small cohesive color stories with them because I feel like you're actually going to use the shades that you choose. You're going to have some wearable shades and not just like a ton of shades or shades that are so discordant with each other. This is going to be another fast video, like the last one of that I did blush trios. So this is the Kvos Blushing Beauty Luminous Blush Palette. This is a pretty palette as well. The shades are very similar to one another though. They, there isn't like a whole gradation. So if you want variety, this is not a great palette for variety. Um, they look pretty. I'm going to double swatch that middle one to kind of show you how it builds up. It is the most shimmery of the three blushes, but I feel like they all have a sheen to them. These are definitely not matte blushes by any means, and they are pretty. I do like them. This is a new formula to me, so it took a little bit more getting used to than I've had to do with the other ones that I've tried in the past. And I did like this. I think this is a nice palette. Uh, I don't know if I would buy more from this brand, but I feel like this is a nice, um, it's a nice like formula. I'm trying to think if any of the other blushes that I have in my collection, like what they're most similar to. I think they're probably more similar to Too Faced blushes, kind of, but not really. Like this is definitely a unlike any other formula that I can really think of off the top of my head. It's not like a Tarte. It's not like a Becca. Um, yeah, it's a different formula. I do like it, but like I said, it took a little bit more getting used to than some of the other blushes that I have in my collection. All right. And we've come to the highlighter palette before I swatch this. Just um, if you haven't already subscribed, if you're enjoying this video, please do consider subscribing. Of course, you know, watch some other videos. I will have the playlist of all of my four for fours popping up right about now too. So I ran out of uh, blush trios, like I said, so I decided to pop in this uh, trio of highlighters. And this is a high, this is one of the earliest highlighter palettes that I got. I got this at Macy's. I remember when it came out and I was so shocked to see it in store. And I immediately I didn't immediately get it, but it was, it felt like really expensive at the time. Now I've paid way more for highlighters. So there is a wide variety of finishes in this palette. They're all supposed to be pretty light because this is the, the light one and then there's a darker one. I have a hard time with this one because I feel like they don't all work as highlighters on my skin. Uh, the middle one is just a titch too dark. This one on the end is not my favorite formula because it's a little less it doesn't melt into your skin so much it's more slightly more chunky it doesn't definitely has like a chunky glitter vibe to it not like a huge chunky glitter but just a light chunky glitter to it and then that light the last one is probably my favorite of the shades it works the best on my skin but um i just i struggled with this one to make the shade the highlights look nice on my skin i just I don't think it's the formula. I think it's my skin tone. This one's the formula because it's it's not more of a sheen. It's more slightly more glittery. I'll try to hold it back close. Once again, I know the sh um, shade changes, but I hope you got to see like what I meant by that more chunkiness. It's just it's not as smooth 
on the skin as the other two. These two are definitely more akin. So I don't love this palette. I know this is still available. It just in different packaging or it was, um, they were doing it as part of like all the cover shot stuff. I'm actually going to declutter this. I know we haven't gotten to the rankings yet, but I just feel like somebody with a slightly deeper skin tone will get more use out of this and have more fun with it. And I have some other highlighters. I have so many highlighters that I really, really love that I'm going to really regrettably let this go, but I just, I don't see myself using it anytime in the near future. I bet you can guess what is in fourth place. Let me know um, your thoughts and opinions on these palettes down below as well. Or if you have something else that you think I should try, let me know that down below as well. So in fourth place, I am putting the Smashbox highlighter. This is the Spotlight palette in Pearl, just because I don't think this is the best highlighter formula. I don't think it's a terrible highlighter formula, but I feel like there's been evolution since this came out that just, I like better. So I found other products that I just like better, even though I did like this when I first got it. So in fourth place is the Pearl palette from Smashbox, the highlighter palette. In third place, I am going to put the Rimmel, Rimmel uh, Kate Moss blush palette. That's all it says. I wish they had like, I can't remember if they had different shades of these or not. Um, but I'm putting this one in third place because it's a little, little more powdery takes a little bit um, more to build up but I do like it it's not a terrible palette it is one that I would say you know if you came across it I would get it you know on sale because drugstore is usually on sale at some point so that's always nice as well like I think it's a good one just to have fun and play with in second place I am putting the Kvos blushing beauty luminous blush palette this is not going to be number one even though I like the shades in air the two things that did not make it go to number one is they're kind of overly similar in their shades. They're nothing really stand out in that area. And then that it did take a little bit of work to get them on and to make them look good. So I feel like this one just took a little bit more work than I'm used to or that I'm willing to normally put in. So that one is in second place, which means in first place, I am putting the Smashbox LA Lights Blush and Highlight Palette and Pacific Coast Pink. Now, if this was up last week, it would not have ended up number one because I had some tough competition. I feel like both of these have been kind of interesting and be interesting to rank all of my blush trios because I know I have more than this because I've already, you know, done some reviews on them in my 4 for 4s. So I do like this one. This is definitely one that I will continue wearing. I just don't reach for these colors quite as much as the peachy colors, but I still like these colors. And I, I do like this formula. It's a little bit stiffer formula. And I don't know, for some reason that just seems to click and I really um, enjoy that as a blush formula. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Would you have decluttered the highlighter palette? Would you have not? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, let me know how you are doing. I hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you are, and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.